Hey guys, it's Ashley. So today I'm going to be doing a little MAC makeup haul. I went to MAC the other day and got some things. Not like a lot of stuff, but I just thought I haven't filmed a video in a while and I really wanted to film a video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments below if you did. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. It would mean a lot. To so if you have any video suggestions for me, go comment them down below because I'd love to know what you guys want to see. I'm going to try to put more and more videos up on my channel. I have so many that I need to edit and put up. But this one I'm going to for sure try and get this one up right away. So hopefully it happens. And then I also am going to be doing like a makeup tutorial using these products as well. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell thing so you can get notifications when I post videos. That way you can come back and watch that video when that video is posted. And just all my other videos as well. Look at that highlight. I just realized I don't have all my lights on. Is that better? I think that's better. Okay, now we have light. Alright, so if you want to see what stuff I got from MAC, then just keep watching. I only got four things, but the first thing I got was the MAC Fix Plus. And if you don't use this... This is like an essential. I've had this like before a long time ago and I ran out and I just never bought it again. But it is seriously so amazing. So basically it says that it's a skin refresher and a finishing mist. So it doesn't really like set your makeup. I guess it can. I honestly don't know. So basically what this is, is it's like a skin, re skin refresher or a finishing spray. You totally put this on just like the Mario Badescu face, face spray with like no makeup on just to like give your face a little refresher or you can use this to like it doesn't necessarily set your makeup but you can spray this on your face after you do your makeup and it just it makes your face look finished it like gives it a soft and it's just supposed to leave your face looking what is that noise that's awful it's just supposed to leave your face looking like smooth and refreshed and just alive I don't know, this stuff is seriously amazing. And I also use this to like wet down pigment. For example, if I were to pack eyeshadow on this brush, and if you were to just spritz this with a little bit of Fix Plus, it'll make it look very metallic, or it'll make it look more like a foiled eyeshadow rather than just like glitter or shimmers on your eyes. You know, it'll make it really bam and bold. Also, a hack with this that I used to do is if you put this in the fridge so it's chilled and then you spray it on your face, it's like so refreshing and perfect for summer it just like gives it this cold mist on your face and it's so perfect so that's a little hack for this just put it in the fridge for a little bit and you have like the perfect summer spray right here so yeah that's the first thing i got mac fix plus you need it if you don't have it so the next thing i got was this mac blush and this is in the shade love cloud and it is a powder blush one of their powder blushes and it has a satin finish i believe let me double check. Yeah, it has a satin finish. Originally, I went in there to get this blush because I fell in love with it, as you can tell. My whole family did. Like, my sister, my mom, and I all, all were using this. And we got this in, like, a little, um, one of their Christmas sets. So it was, like, limited edition. But I wanted to see if they sold this blush just on its own. And they don't, unfortunately. But this is the shade lesson in love and it is just so pretty and it has like the perfect shimmery like satin finish and it was just like the perfect pink it went on evenly and was like so beautiful and so we went in there to try to find that and this is kind of similar we didn't we didn't have it with us we should have brought it with us so we could get like more of an exact dupe for it but um this one has a lot more purple pink undertones, so it's more of like a purpley pink. And this one has more peach undertones to it. So they're just like, as you can see, they're really not similar. But we were just like, out of everything they had, this was kind of closest off the top of our head what we could think of what it looked like. But, I mean, they're really not similar, but I tried this. And I love it. I am obsessed with it. I just love MAC blushes. I think they go on so evenly. And... They're just so smooth, so pretty. They're just literally perfect. I'm trying to like get a swatch out of this. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in those two. But like here's this one right here. This is um, Lesson in Love is on this side. 
I couldn't really get a good swatch out of that because it's almost gone. But Lesson in Love is on this side. And as you can tell, it has a lot more like peachy undertones, kind of corally, but still really pink. And this one, which is Love Cloud, the one I just got, as you can see, it's a lot more um, purpley. It has a lot more purple in it, and it's a lot more like of a purpley pink. So even though this blush isn't actually the color that I was going for, I'm trying to find, it's still super pretty, super pigmented, and overall just a good blush so i'll show you a close up so that's that so the next thing i got um is one of their new actually i don't know if this is new i think it's new because <clears throat> i haven't seen them there and i'm there quite often so i'm pretty sure this is new and this is one of their eyeshadows it's like a mini nine eyeshadow set the palette name is burgundy times nine so it's just this little palette and it has nine little shades. Look at how pretty this is. Can we just take a minute? Can we take a minute? Look at how gorgeous this is. It has like the perfect amount of mattes to like glittery shimmers. I just think that this is so pretty. And this is like the perfect size for traveling. I think I'm going to do some swatches of this. Oh my gosh, I'm living for this shade right here. Dying. These are so pretty. These swatches are a little messed up, but that's okay ignore it so here are all the oh i did this way wrong okay look at how pigmented these are so here are the shades they're like so crazy pigmented and so pretty this one i started here so the top row right here are these three and i'm dying over this shade it's like so metallic and it has like undertones of pink and orange at the same time and i would have never guessed that from this and it's so pretty so that's these three is that top three and then these next three right here are these three going this way so i'm also dying over this shade too and this one's really metallic too and this one's so pretty and that's this shade right here and then these three are the last bottom three going this way so as you can tell, this one's more of like a glitter. It's not like the metallic shimmers that it's over here. It's more of like a chunky glitter, which would be perfect if you were to wet it down with Fix Plus. That would be so pretty. And then these ones would be like perfect transition shades. So you could put these in the crease for any of these shades. So th that, those are this palette right here. So pretty. And I'm pretty sure this is like pretty inexpensive for the nine shades you get. I'm pretty sure it was like 30 something dollars. Which for MAC isn't bad, you know? It's got a lot going on. Hello, worth it. So freaking pretty. The last thing I got is this lipstick. And this is like part of their um, perfume set. They have this line now. And each perfume bottle like matches up with a lipstick shade. And so this one was matched up with one of the perfumes. And I saw it as the set. And I was like, oh, that is so freaking pretty. And I was dying over it, and so I decided just to get the the lipstick only, not the perfume. And then after I like swatched it and was getting ready to buy it, I realized that it was Velvet Teddy, which is like one of their permanent shades. And um, I actually love this shade. I've never gotten it before, but like friends have it, and it's so pretty. It's so pretty, but I'm so glad I, that I never bought it before because look at how pretty this packaging is. It's so much cuter than just like their standard black. I just love it. And then, look. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Look at how beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfection. It's like really similar to the one I have on, huh? Let's compare. Because I'm wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stripped. Those are like really similar. This is the Anastasia one. And this is... Velvet Teddy and I didn't even realize how similar those were. This one has a little bit more of like orangey undertones I feel like but then look at it dried it looks okay. I guess these two look really similar but this one is a liquid lipstick so it doesn't count. So yeah that's the last thing I got Velvet Teddy and this is a matte lipstick. So that is the last thing I got Velvet Teddy. That is it for my mini MAC makeup haul. It's only four things but like essentials right? I can just do little hauls and like little reviews and that's what I want to start doing. It's like little mini reviews on just like one product or something because I just think that I need to just be putting more on my channel and I think even the, just those little videos will help. So 
if there's anything, any products you guys want me to do reviews on, um, let me know in the comments down below and I will for sure go buy them and do a review on them. And I want to just keep buying like new products and do little reviews on them. That way I'll have more content for my channel. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, give it a th thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. That's like the biggest thing. Please subscribe. If you love me, please subscribe. If you like my videos, then subscribe. If you like makeup, then subscribe because makeup is life. I don't even know what I'm saying. Just subscribe to my channel, please, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Me with my little everything I got going on in the sand. Whatever.